Hey everybody, it's Chad with nobody else's auto. More new inventory tonight. I've been buying an insane amount of cars and trucks, so we've got a ton of super cool stuff to show you. I'm actually getting behind, I've got so much cool stuff to show you. But tonight we're gonna catch another one that's a great car. Super excited to bring this one in. Didn't have any of these in stock at all, so I was really excited to add this, plus the fact it's a station wagon, and I love station wagons. 1960 Chevy Parkwood. Now this thing came, just came off the Kansas Prairie, clear out in western Kansas, been sitting out in a pasture for years. And it's a little rough around the edges, but man, there's so many super hard to find parts on this car. The hard to find wagon parts, plus this car has some super cool, super rare Chevrolet accessories on them. So let's check this thing out. Obviously we look at the back of this car, typical 60 Chevy wagon. Tailgate's actually got a bullet hole in it, so it was definitely spent some time out on the Kansas Prairie. But a lot of this trim's still here. Some of it's dinged up and dented up, but it's still fixable. It's got the super cool tailgate handle on it still. We can see this is a V8 car because we had the V back here on the tailgate. Rear bumper's still here. But most of the stuff, even the stuff that has a little damage back here, it's minimal. The tailgate's definitely fixable. All this trim back here. A lot of super hard to find pieces on this old Chevy wagon. Let's start working our way around it and check this thing out. Obviously the rear glass has been busted out of it. Missing a few pieces of trim here and there. But still got some of this wagon trim here, these quarter moldings. Work away on up here, a couple more bullet holes in the doors. Like I said, this thing did come from way out on the prairie, out in the middle of nowhere, so that's almost to be expected a little bit. Still says Parkwood on the side of it. We get up here in the front, kind of the same thing, basic old 60 Chevy. Some dings and dents on the headlight bezels, it is still intact. We do see our V up here with our Chevrolet badge, so we know this thing should have a 283 in it. So let's pop the hood and take a look. And there it is, basic 283, small block Chevy, two barrel. Somebody's got the front of the motor apart on this, water pump stuff's off of it, radiator's gone. However, I'm sure some of you have probably noticed a few interesting things under here. Yes, the car does have power brakes, and the pump's gone, but the car does have factory power steering. But, as I'm sure some of you with a keen eye probably noticed, this stuff right over here. Yes, this is a factory air-conditioned car. Something you very, very seldom see on one of these old Chevrolets in this era. And that's not the only surprise, believe it or not. We'll work our way around this side and we'll show you a few more super cool accessories on this old Chevy. We get over to this side. Some of the glass is still in here. Still got the park wood over here on this side of it. But there's another one of the little secrets right there. Yep, this car actually has a factory Autronic eye. So let's take a peek inside this thing. Right up there on the corner of the dash, there's the Autronic eye unit, which obviously would tell us if there was an oncoming car and dim your headlights automatically, something you very rarely see on a Chevrolet. Cadillacs, yes, Buicks, yes, very seldom on a Chevrolet. Has a little dial where you can change your settings on your distance as, as to when it would dim your headlights for you automatically. Now, something else, we saw the air conditioning stuff on this car, and yes, this is actually in-dash AC. Factory vents, in-dash, not a cool pack unit. This is a factory regular in-dash AC unit. We see our center duct with our controls, we see the duct on the right side, as well as the factory duct on the left side. Something you never ever see. But what's weird is this car has factory air, factory power brakes, power steering, a Tronic eye, radio, but they didn't opt for a clock. It's actually got a clock delete plate in it. So this thing has all these other accessories but they didn't get a clock. So that was kind of odd. Thought that was really weird for a Chevrolet to be this loaded up with accessories and not get a clock. So, but you never know, back in the day, I mean, you never knew why somebody ordered something, how they ordered it, what their purpose was. But obviously this old 60 Chevy was really loaded up with all these super hard to find accessories, but they didn't splurge for the clock. So I just thought that was really odd and really weird, but hey, and of course back then some of that stuff got made as it was going down the line by what was in the parts bin too. 
This car may have supposed to have had a clock, but they may have run out that day, so it didn't get one. You never know. Back then, there really wasn't a lot of rhyme to reason to some of this stuff. Those changes were literally made as the car was going down the assembly line, so sometimes what really doesn't make sense made sense to the guy working on the line that day. If he didn't have one on the shelf, he just probably didn't get one. You really never know. But love these old wagons. We look across this big roof line. It's got all these textured lines in the roof. Just a super cool car. Great lines, great style. We see how the quarter window on these things came up to a peak here. Match the flow of the roof line here the, with the drip rail molding. Just stunning, beautiful cars. Fuel door right here molded into the side of it. So obviously, I'm a wagon fan. Wagons are crazy popular. Definitely excited to add this wagon to inventory. Tons of cool parts here. Obviously, it would be a very major, major restoration project, but so many super hard to find. Wagon parts on this car, as well as the accessories that you really don't see that often. So, was really excited to get it. Neat piece to bring in, add it to the row. Keep this stuff around because I know a lot of guys are going to need this stuff. So, as always, got any questions about this 60 Parkwood or any of the other 1500 cars and trucks that we've got on the ground right now, just give me a call 620 786 4428. That number's in the text. If you click on the text part of this video, that number's in there. And uh, just give me a call. That's the only way to get a hold of me so we can have a conversation about your project, year, make, model, body style, the pieces you need, things like that. I've got so much inventory. I've talked to so many people that I need all as much information from you as possible to know if I've got anything I can help you out with. So, plus, I've been buying a ton of super cool inventory. You can see all this, this entire row right here. None of this stuff, this all came in. I'm still getting videos done on it. I've got tons of inventory you guys haven't seen, so be sure to click that subscribe button, be sure to click that notification button so you can see all these videos as they're popping up, as we do them. Plus, we do a lot of cool live stuff on here too that you don't want to miss. So you'll definitely want to get those notifications as well so you know when we go live. So anyway, that's what we've got for the super cool 1960 Parkwood wagon. I hope you guys dig it. I sure thought it was cool. I'm always excited to get a new wagon into the end of the yard because I love to have wagons around because they're such neat cars and I know a lot of you guys love them as well. So there it is, the 1960 Chevy Parkwood loaded to the gills with factory options, especially for a Chevrolet. Super neat car, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned, tons more cool stuff coming up. We'll see you soon on the next video.